you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 9 of Bookmas. So today I'm going to be doing another tag video and today's tag video is going to be the booktube gratitude tag. So I first saw this tag on Helen's channel. So Helen's channel name is Helen's Bookhaven. Um, and yes, yeah, she actually did the gratitude tag on her very first day of Vlogmas um, back in December. And I just thought it was so nice, it was such a nice tag um, to watch and they were kind of really nice categories and I just thought yeah it's just a really nice tag to kind of shout out those like kind of people that you really love to watch um, so other people can find out about them as well. Uh, so yeah I thought I'd do it today. The original creator of this tag is Mare from Mare Reads so I'll link Mare's channel and I'll also link Helen's channel down below if you wanted to go and check either of those out. Um, I've never heard of Mare Reads' channel before so I will be checking it out um, after I've finished recording this video. Helen's channel I, uh, I am aware of obviously, I found the tag from her and um, yeah I've absolutely loved her vlogmas kind of videos that she's been putting out, they've been so nice to watch. Helen is a librarian so she knows so much about books, she has this really cool like little TBR game where she gets other people to choose some books for her um, as well as kind of choosing books for herself in her game and one of her videos that she did in vlogmas um, is she taught everyone how to do an origami star and so I ended up kind of making the star and sticking it on my Christmas tree because we didn't have a star on the top of the tree and um, so I put a picture up here so I could move the camera but I'm not technical enough to make sure it looks right again <laughs> um, in the same way so yeah I'll put a picture here and I just thought it was really it's really cute she also did like kind of making Christmas cookies and all that kind of stuff and I've just absolutely loved watching her videos over, over the Christmas period um, they've been a joy in like a terrible, terrible, terrible time in the UK with Covid. Um, anyway, so yes, yeah, so let's get on with the tag. So the first question is which booktuber has the best aesthetic? So I do want to like make sure I point out here that these aren't like my be all and end all thoughts. So I have chosen obviously booktubers that I love for these answers but there are many other booktubers that would fit into these categories as well that I also love. The booktube I chose for this is Alice at the Book Castle. I just think Alice's channel and her videos are just stunning to watch. Um, in her background she always has just like beautiful flowers and beautiful candles and just piles of stacks of books that just look absolutely stunning all the time. It's so calming to watch and she does these like really nice vlog videos, she does some cooking in her videos and also aside from books she also talks about kind of her monthly favourites with stuff and she's just really nice to listen to. Her reviews are quite short, um, so her videos are quite short and they kind of, but she's able to express how she feels about them very succinct, succinctly, succinctly and I just find the way that she describes books, I just find so many books that I really want to put on my TBR um, after she's talked about them. So yeah, I would highly recommend Alice's channel if you don't already um, if you don't already know her channel. Yeah, so the books that I kind of would like associate with Alice when I think about her channel are like mysteries, she loves mysteries and mystery thrillers, um, she also really really loves non-fiction books so she reads a whole variety, she reads like true crime books, she does read some popular science books, so I think she's read some astrophysics in the past and stuff like that, and yeah I find out about a whole load of like really cool non-fiction books um, from her. She does read other things obviously aside from that as well but those are the main things that I think of when I think about Alice's channel. Alice is from Norway so she also shares like a lot of Norwegian authors that she picks up even if they've not necessarily been translated into English or other languages. I think it's really great to hear about other authors even if I can't necessarily read all their books. Um, it's nice to know of them and what types of books um, are out there that aren't available in this country. Okay so the next question is which booktuber has the best editing? Um, and for this I've gone for Ashley from a frolic through fiction, it's a bit of a tongue twister for me for some reason, I have a bit of a lisp sometimes. Anyway, um, yeah and the reason I've chosen Ashley is because between her like um, kind of talking about books normally within a vlog to kind of wandering through the woods to kind of watering her plants um, and just doing some calm reading so live reactions to what she's reading as well. Everything just kind of beautifully like slides into the next thing and the music is always kind of very very well fitting and it's just really really calming to watch, <laughs> it's just so nice to watch and I feel like when you watch her videos she makes everything seem magical like the way that she films in the woods it makes it feel like it's a fairyland. She just has that touch with the way that she films and the way that she puts clips together just makes it seem magical and that seems to be the kind of books that she likes to read as well. I think she does like to read a lot of fantasy books and I know that she studies the classics so she loves to read about kind of like folk 
stories and fables and obviously like antiquity stuff and yeah so kind of all the old kind of fairy tale story type things those are the kind of books I associate with Ashley's channel. Okay the next question is what booktuber do you watch because of their personality and the booktuber I've chosen for this question is Hey It's Shay. Um, so Shay is like a fairly new booktuber um, I believe a newbie booktube tag was done five months ago but every time I watch one of her videos I just really love it um, she has this very kind of eloquent way of talking and she's very passionate about what she talks about um, she gets her point across very clearly and I'm always very very interested into like finding out what she has to say about a topic so she does talk about some hard-hitting topics that she reads about and I just feel like when I watch her videos I would just feel like I'm gonna learn so much so she almost has that vibe of like I love watching science youtubers as well like people talking about all the different science stuff and I feel like with Shay she has that kind of vibe like a science youtuber but obviously just talking about books and not talking about science but you know I mean it's like that kind of way of describing things and enthusiasm I just find when I watch one of her videos that I'm very very inspired to pick up the books that she has picked up and she has really enjoyed even some books that she hasn't really enjoyed I feel inspired to pick up and I really really love like how in-depth she goes into her kind of reviews as well so some of the reviews can be like quite short and to the point she's very good at kind of like describing and explaining things in a very succinct way but then other books she will like kind of delve more deep into the themes and I think that's what it is about her she's very good at speaking about all the different themes and yeah I really admire anybody who can do that so yeah I would again recommend you go check I recommend you go check out everybody in this video so I'm gonna stop saying that I think so the next booktuber question is who has super original content and for this I've chosen Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe so Olivia I just absolutely love her videos as well she does these vlogs where she kind of speaks to her family so her family are involved in the vlogs as well which I really like and sometimes she kind of mixes her vlogs up with challenges so I think like there's been a couple of months maybe where she's read like 30 books in 30 days or something ridiculous like that um yeah and they're just really really fun to watch um she reads so so broadly so typically i imagine shakespeare when i think of olivia because i know that she absolutely loves shakespeare but then also she loves kind of um she loves a lot of ya books as well i, I know she loved um bridget kemmerer's uh the curse breaker series i think it's called uh, which i also really liked yeah so she likes kind of the fantasy kind of ya stuff as well um, but then she also reads so much more like there's so much to Olivia's channel but yeah absolutely joy to watch and the reason I picked her for this um, question um, original content is because number one I don't see a lot of youtubers booktubers talking about Shakespeare and that probably is more to do with the types of booktubers that I watch more than the, the, the fact that they're not out there um, but for me that's very original on my subscription list but also she's just recently started up this series which is read it backwards series where she reads her favorite series so i think she she read twilight and i think at the moment she's reading the percy jackson series and she's reading them backwards so she starts with obviously the last book in the series and then does like a very in-depth spoiler review of that book and then works her way to the very first book um, and I haven't actually watched any of them because I haven't read any of those series and because it's very spoilery I just would you know and also I haven't like read the book so it would be kind of lost on me a little bit but I'm hoping one day that she will do a series that I have read so I can watch them because um, I think it sounds like a really creative idea and a very interesting way to read a series as well. Olivia also does travel vlogs she's done some travel vlogs and she does these recommending books based on different items kind of series I believe she did some on different mugs that she has in her cupboard and she's also done one on books based on secondhand clothes that she has um yeah so that I just think is very interesting kind of concept as well yeah so um I'm gonna say it highly recommend you go check her out she's really cool so the next question is who has the best reading vlogs and I was originally going to choose Olivia for this one um and then I switched it up a bit just because I do absolutely love Emma from Drinking By My Shelf's vlogs especially her reading challenge ones um, that she does where she reads a whole series in 24 hours which to me is absolutely baffling and I think her first challenge of that was the series of unfortunate events books um, and that was the first video that I watched of her and I think it's the first video a lot of people watched of her because I think that's when her channel skyrocketed up but number one how can she read that fast that absolutely baffles me um I don't have a number two 
it's just number one. How does she read that fast? Because, um, yeah, I don't want to spoil it. Sometimes she doesn't complete the challenge, and sometimes she does. So, um, but yeah, she's done a few of those now, and even though I have no interest in some of the series that she's read, her vlogs are, are really, really funny to watch, and some of the challenges she's done with her sister, and their relationship is just so nice to watch. And um, Emma's another booktuber who gets her family involved as well. I would say with Emma, it's definitely her personality that I watch for, because we definitely don't really have the same reading tastes. She's one of those people where if Emma doesn't like a book, then I think, oh, maybe that should go on my TBR. Or if she really loves a book, then I think, oh, I probably shouldn't put that on my TBR. And then I have to go and seek out other booktubers to like, kind of the, have, have more reading tastes aligned with myself to kind of work out if I'd actually like a book or not. It was just funny that there are just those people where you just clash with a lot of things on. Um, I don't know why, like it seems like a weird thing to happen, but yeah, just I feel like that does happen with me and Emma. Yeah, that's just bound to happen, isn't it? It's life, everybody's different, but I just absolutely love watching her videos. Okay, the next question is, which booktuber is the funniest? And for this I picked Noria from Chronicles of Noria. If you haven't watched any of Noria's videos, like I really, really encourage you to go and check out her channel because she is freaking hilarious. Um, yeah, she just cracks me up constantly. I think her comic timing is totally on point. Um, so during the videos, there's a lot of kind of splicing to kind of clips of different films or different like series on TV shows or whatever, and different memes and stuff like that. And they just like, yeah, it just adds to the, it just, she's just got that comic timing where she just adds it at the perfect moment. And um, yeah, she just cracks me up. So because of the editing to the different clips, I nearly chose Noria for best at editing, but then it had to be the funniest because she is the funniest. And I think when I think of Noria, I mainly think of like fantasy books and sci-fi books and LGBTQ plus books as well. There's lots of um, LGBTQ plus rep in the books that she reads. So yeah, those are like the main kind of things that I think about. Also Noria is from Nigeria so she often um, shares a lot of books from Nigerian authors that I haven't heard of before which is really interesting. I can't praise Noria more. Go check her out, she's awesome. Okay so the next question is who is the best reviewer and um, it does say in brackets someone who will talk about a book and you'll automatically add it to your TBR even if you don't read from that genre and that has to be Lee from Lee Mac um, who I do mention a lot on this channel but that's because she's awesome and you should definitely go watch her, she's amazing. But there are so many books on my TBR that I have put there, even if I have zero interest, or I think I have zero interest in the topics, because Lee has picked them up so much. So Lee like reads a lot of kind of um, biographies from old school Hollywood actor, actors and actresses and things like that. And yeah, I feel like it's one of those things that has never really interested me. But ever since watching Lee's channel, I have become more and more interested in that in that type of thing. And also Lee tends to read like a lot of classics. I actually read a read along of Dracula um, along with Lee's channel. Um, I can't remember when that was, was it last year? Um, I can't remember now exactly, but that was really fun. And yeah, I just feel like definitely Lee has this way of talking about books that interests me straight away. She has a talent of talking about books that she has read without giving away too much information, but equally talking about it in a very in-depth way if you know what I mean. Like when I watch her videos I don't feel like I have spoilers for things but then I feel like I have a good kind of ungrasping of the different kind of themes and the way a book is written. I just think I get like a good all-rounded view of what the book is and, and I think like especially with the biographies she has a very good way of explaining exactly what you're going to get from it um, and what like what different parts of their life um, has been explained and how it has been explained. Yeah so Lee definitely somebody that I will just add the book onto my TBR pretty much as I click on the video. Okay so the next question is which booktuber has reading tastes that align with your own? And this has to be Emily from Emily Beth Hall. Um, I feel like I've only very fairly recently been watching Emily's videos. Uh, Emily does weekly kind of reading vlogs where she just kind of um, it's more of like a sit down thing, so rather than being taken around, um, Emily gives updates throughout the week on her reading and she reads a lot of fantasy books and things like that and recently this year I found that I've, I've come to really love fantasy and some YA fantasy and stuff like that and I feel like the books that I've read and Emily has read we've both really loved, so like 
Robin Hood books. We both read the Farsi trilogy this year and both really liked it. So any kind of magical fantasy YA book that Emily likes, I feel like I'm gonna like as well. And then um, the other types of books that we like reading that are similar are environmental books. Um, and I know Emily is very, very interested in climate, in learning and spreading awareness about climate change and things like that. Emily also is very interested in doing like a reading around the world challenge, which is something that I also am trying to do, although not very successfully at the moment. But yes, Emily is also interested in doing that. So I feel like with the fantasy and kind of learning about the world and learning about the environment and things like that, that all just aligns like almost perfectly. So I'm sure there's books out there that I would love and Emily would hate and she would love and I would hate. And you know, I don't really know enough about what Emily has read yet to know where that is. So just kind of the general vibe and the general interest is definitely, is definitely there. And I think that any book that Emily talks about, I'm immediately interested in reading because I think that we align so well. So officially that is the end of the tag, but that's only eight questions. Um, and this is the ninth day of Bookmas. So I added an extra one on and I wanted to do this anyway because I wanted this extra question, which is what is the booktuber you've most enjoyed working with this year on collaborations? This is a random one I've chucked in because I want to mention Hannah from Handpit Blog. Um, Hannah is my co-host for the X Book Club and I've absolutely loved like kind of getting to know Hannah more this year. So I've only really been on booktube for one year and Hannah was someone that I watched before I started my own channel. And yeah, we've just become friends this year and we've started this book club together. And I've just really absolutely loved kind of working with her and doing the live discussion that we did together and kind of coming up with the books that we were reading together. And I really think that it's made me feel like I'm a lot more part of the community than I did before. Um, so yeah, I've absolutely loved it. So Hannah also on her own likes to run a lot of kind of read-alongs. Um, so I know currently she's doing the, the Noughts and Crosses read-along read where she does like kind of live streams talking and discussing about the books that she's reading for that. Um, I haven't been able to participate in that unfortunately, but if I read them then I know those videos are there to go back and watch Hannah's thoughts on them. And she's recently released a video talking about doing buddy reads with people. She's also done a fair bit of like discussion videos as well, talking about different things within books and um, social media and things like that. And so yeah, I, I think um, what I really like about Hannah's channel is that it's very kind of, feels very community based and she likes to kind of get everybody involved. In, in everything and um, I really really like that. So yeah, so definitely, as I've said a million and one times to, in this video, um, definitely go check her out if you'd like to. I'm absolutely loving my time on booktube, it's been so great to kind of get more involved, especially in the last few months, get more involved in the community and getting to meet more and more people and chat to more and more people. Um, I just feel like the community here is just so great, I absolutely love it and yeah, I'm very very happy to be here. So yeah, so anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope that everybody is doing well and yeah, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 10 of Bookmas.